See this paintbrush? Turns out it retails for $11. I think that's ridiculous, so today I'm telling you all my secrets for finding high quality budget painting supplies. First off, foam brushes. Apparently $7 is the price to beat for a 20 to 24 pack. I've got two solutions for you. First, if you live in the Midwest, check out Menards. Their normal price pack of foam brushes is also around $7, but every couple months or so, they'll mark it down to be 99 cents after rebate. When I see that sale, I always stock up. And to be honest, right now, I'm pretty sure I have at least two unopened packs sitting in one of these drawers. Secondly, if you're not lucky enough to live by Menards, check out Joanne Fabrics. I'm a little surprised by this recommendation myself. They're not really where I tend to go if I want to get a good deal, but they price their foam brushes just like everyone else does, meaning if you take one of their abundantly available 40 to 60% off coupons, you can probably get the brushes for around $350, which is obviously less than $7. So win in my book. Okay, so paint brushes. I really hate to admit it, but you should probably keep at least one or two of these fancy expensive paintbrushes on hand. I don't really know why, other than the internet says they're better, and I'm not convinced by that, but I guess I'm convinced enough that I forked out $20 for a couple of these paintbrushes and I break them out anytime I want something to be super extra perfect. Most of the time though, I just use a cheapo freebie brush and it seems to perform just as well. In fact, someday I would really like to do a head-to-head -head experiment comparing the Purdy brushes to the cheapo freebie brushes and seeing how they perform, mostly because I just love doing money-saving experiments on this channel. If that is something you would like to see, be sure to tell me by hitting the like button below. Either way though, most of the time I use these freebie paint brushes that I get at Menards. And when I say freebie, what I really mean is that Menards usually charges $5.99 for them, but every six months or so they mark them down so that they're free after rebate. You can grab up to six of them at a time, and you bet every time they go on sale I'm there buying six of them. I love them, like I said, I can't really see the big difference between them and the fancy expensive purdy paint brushes. So I use them, when they look kind of ratty like this one does, I toss them, they're great. Unfortunately though, I don't have a real plan for those of you who live outside the Midwest. I'm sorry about that. If you live outside the Midwest and you do know where you can get really great, high quality, cheap paint brushes, please let me know in the comments below. Next up, rollers and trays. If you've never been to your local Habitat for Humanity Restore, go give them a look. They tend to stock inexpensive painting supplies, and if you buy from them, you support a local charity. Pricing varies significantly based on the pricing scheme of the store, so I don't want to give you any specifics, but it's definitely a place you should look if you want to get your painting supplies on the cheap and support a great charity while you're at it. If you're not able to find anything good at your local Habitat Restore, check out Harbor Freight for rollers. I personally am a little bit obsessed with these mini foam rollers. I use them to paint just about anything that's even remotely flat, including all of these cabinets behind me. I absolutely love them. They're $1.37 for four, and they're just exactly what I want out of little foam rollers. And if you're wondering about regular rollers, a three pack is a mere $1.50. That is an $8 savings over Home Depot. And if you're wondering about quality, I hear you. But keep in mind, the main job of a paint roller is to put paint on things. The Harbor Freight paint rollers can probably manage that. You might want to be concerned, though, about the texture. I personally don't have a problem with the texture of Harbor Freight paint rollers, but you might feel differently. It could be worth a $1.50 splurge to see how you really feel. And if you're not a fan, well, Home Depot has plenty of $10 paint rollers for you to choose from. Do keep in mind though that rollers are hard to clean. I am sure there's a secret, but I feel like I've tried every TikTok out there and I have yet to figure it out. And I don't know about you, but I feel a whole lot better throwing away a 50 cent paint roller than I do throwing away a $3 paint roller when I do a bad job cleaning it. Painter's tape. I cannot be the only one who is stunned and appalled at the cost of painter's tape. Like, it's tape. It should cost a dollar, but no, even the cheap stuff costs four dollars a roll. Luckily though, I did an experiment comparing masking tape and painter's tape, which you can check out up here. Moral though, Mod Podge and masking tape is a win, ditch the painter's tape altogether. 
Finally, paint. Now, before you get all paint is the backbone of the home on me. Know that in 2019, Consumer Reports ranked Bayer Premium Plus Ultra as their top line of paint. That outranked Benjamin Moore, Sherwin-Williams, and every other line of paint that they tested. So it really drives me nuts when I hear people saying, oh, you have to buy fancy paint in order to get a good paint job. No, it is not better. It is just more expensive. And funny story, I tried to buy a gallon of Benjamin Moore paint once because they had a color I wanted. And so I went to their store, I picked up my color chip thing, I went over to the paints and I stood there and I stared at it and I couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. I walked out of the store, I took my little chip and I went to Home Depot and had them color match it and guess what? It was just fine. As for finding great deals, hopefully you already know all about the Oops section. Whenever I go to Home Depot, I always check to see if they have any good colors because personally, I'm trying to build up a collection of Oops paint so that I never have to buy new paint again. It's actually not going so well because most people buy neutrals and therefore they don't really have any bright colors available, which, come on world, buy some color. That said, I was actually burned once with some paint that went weird and clumpy mid-use. I managed to save it by adding water and mixing a bit, and my bench turned out all right in the end, but it still serves as a warning that there is some amount of risk when you buy Oops paint. Finally, if you don't really care about your color, the Habitat for Humanity Restore is a great place to buy cheap paint. I've actually seen full new gallons of paint that were donated by paint stores, and you can't get a custom color out of them, but it's still a whole lot of paint for a very low price. I've also seen new in-the-can spray paints, um, so clearly it depends on your habitat, but it is a place to check if you are in the market for non-specific paint. Last but not least, I want to tell you a little bit about the paint sprayer that I absolutely idolize. It is $16 at Harbor Freight, and I have heard amazing things about it. That makes it sound like I don't own it, but actually I do. I just don't own a compressor that's strong enough to work it. But in the five seconds my compressor was able to make it work, it was fantastic. That probably isn't enough for a real recommendation for you though. But if you do want more recommendations, check out my seven favorite Harbor Freight products. I call them my must-buys because they are that awesome. So go check it out. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.